In this video, I'm gonna share with you how we went from zero to $914 in Etsy sales in seven days. So I should probably let you in on a little bit of a secret, and that is this was kind of an experiment so I could share the results with you. And I also was teaching a class called the seven day cha-ching challenge. And the whole goal is to get sales within seven days. And uh, well, I wanted to run it and see if it would actually work. And guess what? It did. So inside of this strategy, there's actually three things that made it work. And there's also one very big thing that I'm gonna share with you at the end that always increases sales that I don't see anyone, no one, nada, no one doing. Well, I'm gonna share it with you so you can do it if you want to. I think you should. So yeah, here's what I did. Oh, and I should probably tell you that this whole experiment took me about an hour to do. So with that all being said, let's dig in. So the very first thing that we did inside of this experiment was we launched a handful of new products. Now, this will work even if you don't have new products, but the reason why we released some new products is because, well, the time of recording this, Valentine's Day is on the horizon and we figured we would just launch some products and it's a great reason to run a special because, well, we're approaching a big event. This is something I also talk inside of a video that I did here on the channel all about holiday hacking. And uh, I'll leave it in the description where you can go check that out. But that's something that we definitely do. And you can kind of say we did that here. We holiday hacked. But that's the first thing that we did. We launched a few more products. So this way here, we had something to promote. But let me just say, you can do this even if you don't have new products. This will still work. The second thing that we did inside of this experiment was we ran a sale. So you see what I'm saying? If you have products and you want to run a promotion, just have a sale and uh, then you'll be able to have a reason to do what I'm about to share with you next. Now, let me also say I ran a sale on these products. I did not use a coupon code, although I could have. All I did was I ran the sale. One of the main reasons I like to run sales and not just use a coupon code is because then I get the benefits of having that sale show up in different places. Number one, people that have favorited my shop or favorited products will get notified. So the minute that we run a sale, people will be getting notified through Etsy. The other thing I like about this is when I'm running Etsy ads, now those are going to perform better because why? Well, because we're running a sale. So that's another benefit of running a sale. If you're running Etsy ads, they will generally convert higher. And then you always have the chance of Etsy promoting it because now it's a sale item and then they will start to feature your items where sales are being featured. And that's just another benefit. And like I said, total time that I spent on this entire promotion, about an hour. And so the third thing that I did in this strategy was I emailed my list. Yes, we have built an email list and we've done this internally through Etsy and also externally. The first way that we are building a list is from our customers. Now we can collect those customers and Etsy is okay with it as long as we integrate it with AWeber. Go into your integrations inside of Etsy in your dashboard and then go under AWeber and read through it and you'll see that Etsy actually encourages you to build an email list. So now I have my customers on an email list and I can send them an email like I did in this promotion, which I'm gonna walk you through. And the second way that we build an external email list is we will advertise a very small budget on Facebook and we will drive people to a giveaway for some of our products. And what that does is it gets people to raise their hand in our niche and then from there, we get to communicate with those people over time. And that's our email list building strategies. So because I have an email list, I'm able to now promote that sale. So you see how this is working? Number one, I created some new products, which is also new to my list. Number two, there's a sale because we launched these products and we're saying, hey, we have a sale because these are brand new and we're launching them this week. But the thing that really makes this work that I don't see anyone doing is we are creating a deadline. That's why I like these sales to be seven days. And 
That's why I named our class the seven day cha-ching challenge, which if you want more information on how to go through that seven day cha-ching challenge, I'll drop a link in the description. You can check that out. And if we're in session right now in that class, you can sign up for the wait list and we'll let you know when a class opens up. But the whole goal there is to create a seven day promotion after we've optimized our shop. And that's exactly what we've done. So let me walk you through how this promotion actually went down. Number one, it started on a Monday. So that Monday, I sent out an email to let people know about the promotion, about the sale, about the deadline. And then from there, I waited a day after I sent that one. And on Wednesday, Wednesday morning, I sent another email to remind the people about what I sent them on Monday. And then guess what I did? I waited till Friday and I did the same thing. I reminded people about what I shared with them about the sale in the beginning of the week, but I also reminded them that it was going to be ending soon. And then the seventh day, the final day, this is where I really ramped it up. And what I mean by that is I sent a couple of emails. I sent one in the morning and I sent one at night. And what this does is it allows you to let people know you have a reason you're emailing. Hey, I just wanted to let you know the sale ends tonight. And then at nighttime in the evening, you would say, hey, just wanted to let you know this is about to expire. And that is one thing that I don't see anyone doing when they're running a promotion. Usually, here's what a promotion looks like for someone that is brand new or that just doesn't know email marketing. They basically send one email and that's it. And they're done. There's no deadline. There's no reminders. They just expect everyone saw that email. That's not how it works. Most people are not checking their email every single day. So what we need to do is we need to show up multiple times. And some people that are seeing it, they're just getting reminded because they're waiting to the last minute. How many times have you waited to the last minute to cash in on a coupon or to cash in on maybe like Kohl's cash or something like that. You're always waiting to the end. I do the same thing. It's just how we're wired. We're always waiting to the end and that's why we need to send out more than just that one email. Now this last thing I wanna share with you is something that I don't see anyone doing that can increase your sales. I don't see anyone doing this or anyone talking about this and that is we wanna send the emails two people that have not opened the first email. Let me explain. Let's say that on Monday, we send out that first email. And then let's say we wait till Wednesday. Well, what I can do, and this is what I do, is on Tuesday, about 24 hours later, I will send an email to only the people, only the people that have not opened that email yet. So what they call this is sending to the unopens. This way here, the people that did open it, they're not gonna get a second email that second day, but the people that didn't open the first one are going to get it. And that, my friends, is magic. If you do that, you will increase your open rates. And what does that mean? You'll get more people to see inside the email, which is where the link is to click to go over to get the promo. You see how that works? That always increases the opens and usually adds more to the bottom line. So there you go, guys. That's how we went from zero to $914 in Etsy sales in just seven days following that very simple strategy. And hopefully you take this and run with it. Listen, if you've enjoyed this video, do me a favor, smash the like button. If you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments. I'm always hanging out in the comments. And if you did enjoy this video, I'm gonna put another video right here that goes through four one minute hacks that we use to increase sales. So if you're into increasing sales, which I think you are, watch that one next. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video for you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.